So today we are going to solve the mock test paper uh, dated uh, 25th January which I uploaded on my website that is www.guruji-online.com So today we will see the video solutions of the question questions which I have taken from the mock test paper. So this was the first question. What is the period of oscillation of a meter stick? So this is a meter stick. It, its length is 1 meter and we have to find out the time period T. If suppose the mass of the meter stick is m, then its weight will act at its midpoint and that will be mg. And if this meter stick is swing a little and it is making a theta degree with vertical, then it will have two components. This force will have two components. One along the stick that is mg cos theta and other one is perpendicular to the stick that is mg sin theta. So basically this force is responsible for swinging the meter stick. So it will generate a torque this is this distance is L by 2 L by 2 into mg sin, sin theta will give, will give you the torque that is torque will be nothing but mg sin theta into L by 2 this torque we also know it is equal to I into alpha where I is the moment of inertia along the axis of rotation it is uh, it is from this point this is swinging so from this we have to take moment, moment of inertia along this point and alpha is nothing but angular acceleration. So <coughs> this <coughs> we can write I, I is nothing but I moment of inertia along this point as we know it will be 1 by 3 m l square. So we can write this equation as alpha, if we write alpha here, alpha 1 by 3 m l square is nothing but this is mg sin theta L by 2. Now, this force, this acceleration is basically, this force is basically, it's a restoring force. So, we can write this thing as a minus sign. So, alpha is nothing but minus mg mm, mm cancels out this will be theta we can since theta since theta is very small 
So we can write the figure as theta also. So this will become this 3 L by Three L into sorry three G three G upon two L and this is theta. This is this equation is nothing but equivalent to our this alpha is equal to minus omega square theta or we can we know that a is equal to minus omega square x this is the property of the simple harmonic motion so <clears throat> if we compare this that means omega square is nothing but 3 g upon 2 l or omega is nothing but root 3g upon 2l this is nothing but omega is nothing but 2 pi 2 pi by t from this t is nothing but 2 pi root 2L upon 3G. So this is the time period of a meter stick. If we put the values L as 1 meter and this G is 9.8 meter per second square, then <coughs> we can solve it and it will come as 1.64 second so this is the solution and suppose if we compare this meter stick uh, simple harmonic motion with simple pendulum then in, in case of simple pendulum what happens it's a string there is a bob and this is ln and there the time period is t is equal to 2 pi root l upon g so if we compare this suppose this is l dash if we compare this then l dash is nothing but 2 L upon 3 means at this point in the meter stick sorry at this point that is 2 L upon 3 this center what is this center called? Center of oscillation. So this is how you can find the center of oscillation also and th this is simple pendulum and this is called physical pendulum
So anything can be a physical pendulum, but if you, if you are asked to find out the center of oscillation, this is how you can find the center of oscillation. I, I hope you understood this problem. We will go to the next problem now. So our second problem is like this we are having a mass connected with two springs like this. These springs are attached with the walls and we have to find out the frequency of the system if this mass is given a little swing in this direction then it will keep on oscillating and what will be the frequency. Frequency is nothing but 1 by t where t is time period, period of the <coughs> oscillation. Now in this case suppose if we give a gentle push here and this is, this comes like this suppose. this mass comes like this so naturally this distance suppose this is x and this will also be x and this spring will be compressed with x distance and this spring will be stressed with x distance so if we draw the free body diagram, since it is compressed, so this spring will push this block in this direction. And what will be the force? That is Ax. Now this is spring is stressed. So this spring will also pull this block in its side and distance is x so this spring will also pull the block like this that means what is the total force acting on this block that is f is equal to Now, since suppose if we take this direction as positive, then this, this will be minus 2kx. F we know m into dx square upon dt square that is minus 2kx. This is a oscillating thing, so we can define the position as A cos omega t plus phi and if we differentiate this dx upon dt will be nothing but A omega sin omega t plus phi. And what about d square dt square? It will be nothing but minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi. Now this and this is nothing but x. So we can write this thing as minus a x. A is nothing but the amplitude, the maximum displacement. So we can write it here. So what we get? We get m dx square 
dt square is nothing but minus ax it will be nothing but minus 2kx sorry this is minus a omega sorry this is not a this is omega square this also defines the property of oscillation as acceleration this is nothing but acceleration is minus omega square x means the displacement is towards the center point acceleration is such that the displacement of the object is towards the center point and it is the property of simple harmonic motion so here omega square and x x will cancel out this will cancel out that means omega omega is nothing but 2k upon m omega square it is or omega is nothing but root 2k upon m or omega is nothing but 2 pi by t is root 2k m 1 by t is your f so 2 pi f is equal to root 2 k m or f will be nothing but 1 by 2 pi root 2 k upon m. So this is the answer. So this was a simple problem, but I have solved this with the basics, with fundamentals I have solved this problem. So please understand this. Now we will go to the third problem. So this is the third problem of the mock test paper here there are two blocks one is bigger one it is resting on a frictionless surface this surface is frictionless but the smaller block it is resting and this surface is having friction and coefficient of friction is given as 0.5 now if we move this assembly a little bit this side then it will start a simple harmonic motion and Since it is having a friction, so this will also be intact and the our angular frequency will be nothing but as we have seen in the previous problems here single block is not there but the total mass will be m plus m so but suppose if we increase the amplitude of this oscillation then 
one point will come when this will also start slipping over this surface and we have to find out what is that amplitude so what is the maximum force here basically that is f f is nothing but m into this is the maximum acceleration and this is nothing but mu m g because this will have the normal and 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 this will have it is having mu to so mu m will be the maximum force and m is nothing but equal to mg so this will have the maximum force means when this acceleration is increased from this this is the limiting acceleration this is the maximum acceleration which can go otherwise beyond this it will start slipping so this is what we have to find out basically we have to find out the amplitude so let us see this m am basically a what is am is nothing but it is equal to omega h square a and since it is maximum so it is also so this is what we have to find out here we can put m omega h square am is nothing but mu mg or m omega it is k by m plus m am mu m so this m m m goes so a m is nothing but mu into g m plus m upon k if we put the values 0.5 into if we take g as in this problem actually we have to take g as 10 meter per second square i think it is given so we can m plus 12 divided by this is 150 so this will give you 50 50 centimeter So this is the amplitude when this amplitude reaches so this is the limiting thing beyond this if amplitude decreases then it will start slipping so i hope you understood this problem now we will go to the next problem
So this is the fourth problem. In this, one mass is attached with two springs, and this mass is resting on frictionless. surface. We have to find out the frequency of this oscillation. Suppose if we give a little bit push And this this is X. Then naturally this spring will be compressed by X by 2 and this will also be compressed by X by 2. If we make the free body diagram then All this will be equal. That means this in this the force will be kx by 2 will be equal to in this force will be kx by 2 and this will be equal to the force on the and that will be equal to MA. Mass. Now this Kx by 2 is equal to MA or we can write it as d square x upon dt square like in our previous problem we can write this thing as omega square x now x x goes that means omega square is nothing but k by 2 m or this is equal to omega is nothing but root k by 2m or 2 pi f is nothing but k by 2m or f will be equal to 1 by 2 pi k by one and if you put the values five thousand 
divided by 2 into 1 this will give you so this problem also I have solved in a very basic manner otherwise you can take the equivalent uh, K equivalent also and solve the problem directly. So now we will go to the next problem. So this is the fifth problem. It says the phase of spring block system in SHM is pi by 6, that is simple harmonic portion is pi by 6 with position as x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi. Find the ratio of kinetic energy to potential energy at time t is equal to 0. So, at any time t, what is kinetic energy? That is half m v square and what is potential energy? That is half k x square. We also know that omega is equal to nothing but k upon m in case of spring balance system, spring block system and from here k is nothing but omega square into m. So we can write this thing as half omega square into m into x square. Now what is the ratio? Kinetic energy upon half v square upon half omega square m x square. This we can write it as x square into 1 by omega square. So this is the ratio. But what about, what about v by x? Here we are given x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi that means dx by dt is equal to v is equal to minus a omega sin omega t plus phi so from here v by x is nothing but or v by x square is nothing but v is this a square omega square sin square omega t plus phi divided by x is this to this this square cos square omega t 
प्लस फाइव और ओमेगा स्क्वायर इंटू टेन स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव वी कैन पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर दैट मीन्स ओमेगा स्क्वायर टेन स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव डिवाइडेड इंटू वन बाय ओमेगा स्क्वायर दिस गोस आउट दैट मीन्स टेन स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव नाउ एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस बिकम्स टेन स्क्वायर फाइव और टेन स्क्वायर फाइव बाई सिक्स और वन बाय रूट थ्री स्क्वायर मीन्स वन बाय थ्री दैट मीन्स के अपॉन पी ईज टू वन बाय so this is how you can solve this problem so this was the solution from question number 1 to 5 of our mock test paper pertaining to oscillation chapter so today i am going to upload the solution of uh, up, uh, from question number 5 or uh, 1 to 5 and tomorrow I am going to give the video solution for 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 the from the questions five to ten. So I hope you understood these problems. Please go through this once or twice, well, uh, as you need. And these are very relevant problems. You will find these problems uh, in this fashion only or in a a little bit twisted manner but basic principle is the same so this is guruji online uh, so thank you for for now for today tomorrow i am going to give the uh, further uh, solution of this mock test paper thank you very much mm -hmm.